What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Randy here, RTSMall.com, bringing you a quick video. Happy Thursday. It is Friday Eve. Happy Thursday. Uh, today we're playing this brand new game that just came out a few hours ago, and it is called Eve Echoes. This game has so far been quite a bit of fun, and here you can see me just digging right into it. I'm currently in the middle of some combat. I'm currently combating some people. And I am destroying them. Now I'm going to go loot their bodies. Uh, but yeah, what I want to talk about today... Ooh, very nice. What I want to talk about today is going to be the basics you need in order to really make sure you're able to dominate uh, early on. And there's a lot to learn, okay? This game has a crazy skill cap, and I will say, by the way, this is not a pay-to-win game. I have never seen a mobile game that isn't pay-to-win. I'm super stoked. Um, I recommend you drop the 30 bucks for the initial one-time pack at the beginning. It'll give you, uh, it'll give you uh, like a 50% boost in your skill point gaining efficiency, which is basically what levels up your character. But other than that, uh, you can actually get that same item in-game um, with in-game free currency. It just might take you a week or two to, to, to farm it. So maybe two weeks of farming, and you can do it full free-to-play. Or you can drop 30 bucks at the beginning and be uh, uh, free to play after that. There are no in-game packs, you know, to buy. Uh, there's no massive microtransactions. There's cosmetic transactions that you can make, which is cool. So you can get cosmetic skins and stuff, which is which is very neat. I definitely like that business model. So thank God for that. Holy cow. So what are we talking about today? Okay, well, when you start this game, there's going to be a series of detailed tutorials. They're going to give you the basics on combat. They're going to give you the basics on moving around, okay? I'm not going to go through that. What I am going to talk about are probably four of the most confusing things early on, which are not really covered by the tutorial, okay? And these are, again, extremely confusing if you are not sure what's going on. So let me tell you where we're going to start. We're going to start with ISK, okay? ISK. You can go to your wallet. This is your ISK. This is the in-game currency. Um... Plex is kind of the pay per. You can kind of buy that. You can farm it in game too, but really this is kind of a pay currency. Um, so ISK is the free currency, but it's used for everything. And then Plex, you can sell the players for ISK because the players will farm ISK, buy Plex from a spender, and use that Plex that they bought with their free ISK to buy the in game item that gives you that, that bonus. Okay? So it's really some cool stuff. Um, some cool stuff there. You can actually do this full, full free to play. Um, still not recommended. You'll still have, uh, you know, some setbacks. But uh, if you do get the thirty dollar, uh, where am I going? Let's see, frigate. We need to get the frigate wreck. We're gonna get the loot. Um, and yeah, but this is, I mean, this is a great point. You, as you're killing NPCs in the world, you're gonna get loot. Okay, so don't waste money at the market if you don't need to. Because uh, chances are you'll complete three or four quests and you might get the loot that you need. Okay, so I'm just going to halt right here. I'm going to go join the next... Uh, we're going to go join the next... Uh, the next encounter here, which I'm going to explain to you guys in a minute. Okay. Ooh, that one's far away. So ISK, the main currency in the game. ISK. You definitely want to get lots of ISK. You need it for all kinds of stuff. 45. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to find a quest that isn't super far from me right now, but I'm not not succeeding at the moment. Alright, this is fine. Fine, we'll go here. Wonderful. I just want to get the autopilot going before I keep going with the video. Okay, so, ISK is important. Um, do the uh, the encounters like I just showed you. Most of the encounters I'm going to recommend doing are going to be ones where you uh, kill units, right? Like, you know, defeat the escape debtor or whatever. You know, go go kill enemy units because when you kill enemy units every 20 minutes you gain a bounty reward so you may gain anywhere from 1000 to 5000 maybe more isk bounty reward per unit you kill so not only are you going to get an isk reward for completing the the encounter but you're also going to get a bounty reward every 20 minutes from the game okay uh, the next thing I want to talk about is skill points this is super duper key because nobody really explains skill points I watched a dozen YouTube videos I asked questions in chat. No one really explained it. If you don't have a history of playing 
EVE online, you are not going to get it, and you're going to risk setting yourself back a couple days. Um, so what are skill points? Right here, you click this button, you go to skills, okay? Uh, it takes you to A, you can see how many skill points you're getting per minute, and this is the difference. If you're free to play and you don't have that item yet, this is going to be stuck at 50. You can get it up to 75 with those items, which is great. Okay, and then as you level up your skill, as you accumulate skill points, you will be able to level up your tech level. Now, this tech level is huge. If your tech level is not leveled up, you can't get stronger troops, or, I mean, stronger ships, you can't use stronger items. You can't, you know, get your sciences really uh, uh, researched up. So definitely want to make sure that you have the maximum skill point training speed at all time, okay? Um, you may be tempted to come down here and hit this little speed up button where you can expedite and spend some of your skill points to expedite these rituals. Don't do it. Just don't do it, okay? Do not do it. You definitely want to use as many skill points as you can to level up your hero as quickly as possible okay because that's the key um, but at the same time you can also still be uh, re researching this big queue worth of rituals or uh, sciences whatever you want to call them you can see here you can set up a whole queue for skill research which is great make sure you're using this all the time because again if you're not going to waste skill points speeding it up you don't want to have downtime where something isn't being researched so always make sure you have a long queue at least have one or two six hours in there that way in case you forget you have no chance of, of messing it up okay um, slow and steady wins the race here with skill points and you cannot buy skill points there's no packs for skill points the single thirty dollar purchase i just told you about is going to get you the little bit of acceleration and that's it so that controls the pace of the game which means again taken back to not a mega spender massive whale no skill game this game has a great skill cap which is wonderful okay the next item which you probably uh, are not going to hear about in any other videos or the tutorial is item control now don't do what I did uh, and go to all these different star ports and docks and buy one item there or process something there um, because you can see when I open my personal assets I have shit all over the place I have something over here, something over here, okay? Like all this stuff, all this stuff requires time to go get. Once this loads, getting a little load problem. I mean, I have stuff, I have stuff everywhere. So I had it way worse. I had about 20 different locations with like one or two items. Uh, I, I actually went and picked up a bunch of them. I sold a bunch of them. Um, so don't make my mistake. Make sure you process your items at your home dock, okay? Go to your home dock. Process your items there. Okay, my home dock, you can see here. Let's go to my, whoops. Let's go to my character here. You can see my base station. My home dock is Jitta 4, Moon 4, Kaldari, Navy Assembly Plant. This is where I'm going to do all my item processing from now on, okay? I'm going to do all these quests. I'm going to collect all the items in my, in my ship, and I'm going to fly back there and do it all there, okay? That's the way to do it. Pick one place and do it there. The last item I want to talk about, I don't want to make this video too long, are ships. Of course, as you level up your, your skill level and you progress through the first couple days of the game, you're going to want to use the best ships with the best weapons, and you're going to want to know when to upgrade, okay? So here's something real quick on that. Um, there is a ship tree here in the issues, which is uh, somewhat useful. You can kind of check it out and see what, what's coming you know, ahead of you. Um, for example... Uh, here, let's pick. With my current skill level, I can now use all these ships. Okay, so it shows you the the the, uh, the ships that you can use based on your skill level. I'm skill level three, so now I can access all these ships. Um, what does that mean, right? Because there's like 20 different categories of ships. There's there's all kinds of ships. Uh, so what I'm going to recommend to you is to go for high DPS early on. Okay. So the two types of ships you're going to want to use are going to be uh, laser-based damage, because laser is kind of the top DPS early on in the game. It does extra damage versus shields. Uh, a lot of the early game um, guys have a lot of shields. Uh, the second best DPS in the game, early game, would be missiles. So once you hit skill level 3, which you should be able to do within 6 hours, um, go ahead and purchase 
with some of the isk you've made in game you can go ahead and go to the market here boom go to the ship center and you can purchase uh, either one of these two ships which are both stellar for lasers or missiles once this loads I'll show you currently on the load currently on the load button everybody here we go here are the two best ships for that for the early gameplay so you have the missiles uh, the best missile ship is actually a frigate this tier 3 here um, this Kestrel right here is going to be the strongest missile ship early game small missile torpedo um, definitely use these guys so you can see I can purchase him for 125,000 ISK which should take you about two hours to farm doing uh, encounters okay maybe quicker once you're better at it but let's let's say you're new you you suck probably hour to two hours to farm this okay the other type of ship is going to be the destroyer and this is a tiny bit stronger and this particular destroyer is geared towards lasers which I love so this is a coarser Corsair coercer coercer there you go I wish I could pronounce stuff so this adds 25% range to your laser weapons, which are good because they're kind of a, a, a short to medium range. This puts them at you know a firmly medium range, which is definitely a plus. Increases their damage and it decreases the amount of power you need to run the lasers. Okay, so the coercer for 172,000 uh, isk, or the uh, the kestrel for 125,000 isk, and again kestrel is going to be missiles and the coercer is going to be lasers. So that's it. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long. Those are the basics. Now you know kind of some direction. Uh, I'll be making more videos as I play the game more. It's really been a lot of fun so far. I've uh, been playing it for the past couple hours. And you can see I'm already skill level 3, right? I'm almost skill level 4. And I'm kind of progressing along nicely. I've got my coercer here, right? I've got my coercer right here. You're looking, looking pretty. So I'm not just talking talking BS I'm actually using this ship you can see and I do have laser weapons here um, okay so thanks for watching love you guys a long time give me a sub because I'll be doing lots of videos on this game in the next two weeks and I'll be doing some collaborative videos with a couple of the content providers for this game should be really cool alright Randy out love you long time peace baby